Hello everyone, my name is Anish Rana and today we are covering the second topic that is storage and it contains 10% footage in our CKA exam. In this topic, we have four subtopics. I believe that we can take a two topic when we are going to create a PV. We can define the volume mode, access mode and reclaim policy or volume. Let's deep dive into the first topic. This is my question. First, we need to set the right context. And here the question is create a persistent volume with name app hyphen motor of capacity of 2 gig and access mode is read write many. The type of volume is host path location is this. In this question, we need to create a PV and its values are these five type. One, two, three, four, and five things we need to create. Now, in exam, it is not possible to remember all the YAML file content, right? For that reason, you need to open the Kubernetes.io webpage, click on documentation, search PV, open the first link, and search for access mode. Let me go Kubernetes.io webpage. This page will be available in the exam as I told you before. Click on documentation in the left side, just write PV, hit enter, open the first page, maybe in the next tab, and then scroll down, or maybe you can use control F and check that's for access mode. This is my persistent volume. Let me copy this file here. And now go to my PPT. This is the file that I created. Let me show you in the now. This is my persistent volume YAML file. And this is what it is given in my question. As you can observe, that multiple things are unwanted that we can remove. What we can remove here? These lines we can remove. Now, if I remove these lines, what file I will get? Only this YAML file is available. Now let's modify the name of our persistent volume, capacity, and access mode. One can observe that still in this YAML file there is NFS, path, and server. However, in our question, it is mentioned that we need to create host path, and the location is this. Let's modify this also. Now my YAML file is created successfully. Now we can apply and create this YAML file and if we use kubectl get pv slash pv name we will observe our pv is created successfully. This is what we need to create for pv that's it. Let's proceed for the lab for the first question. Let me create one file here question 8 pv and then paste all the content. Control C. Let me create here. Now it is says it is created. Let me maximize this window. Let's check. It is created 11 seconds before. It is available. The claim policy is retained and access mode is read, write, execute, and capacity is 2 gig. This is what it is mentioned in the question. That's it for the first question. Now the next question is understand persistent volume claim. Know how to configure application with persistent storage. Question would be create one PV and then bind with this PVC after that create pod and attach this PVC. That's it. It means that in this question they will ask you to create PVC, PV and pod. Let's take an example what type of question they may ask. Here we need to create a persistent volume named Tata PV and it should have capacity of 2 gig. Access mode is read write once. Host path is this. The previous question I have just paste here. That's it. Just modifying some value. Read write once and path is different. And name of this PV is also different. After that, next. Create a new persistent volume claim in namespace project hyphen tiger named data PV. It should 
request two gig storage access mode is read write once and it should not define a storage class name no need to define any storage name this pv should bound to pv correctly obviously when we going to create a pvc it should bind with desired pv next is finally create a new pod name is tata in namespace project hyphen tiger which mount that volume temp slash tata hyphen data the pod should be of image of this now solution we have already created a pv in the previous question same thing we will apply here this is my previous yaml file here let me modify with our new values tata pv storage 2 gig access mode is read write once and the path is this that's it now we can create a pv after that for persistent volume claim we can go to the same page let me show you here if we go to the same page let me go up here find this is this is my persistent volume if i click next i will observe the persistent volume claim copy this yaml file and paste it in one note file after that you will observe that this is my persistent volume now we need to modify the name namespace a new parameter that we need to add inside project hyphen tiger storage is 2 gig read write and remove volume mode can remove this thing that's it now we have created the pvc and this is my question it is asking for namespace project tiger name is tata pvc it should have 2 gig this is what i have defined here access mode is read write once this is what i have defined here and no storage class i have defined here you can get this information oh, document search pvc access mode or you can find this detail on the same page for creating the pod this is my pod definition file on the same page if you scroll down you will observe one pod definition pod yaml file just copy this that's it into one file and modify the values what values you can modify here name you can modify what name we need to provide here then pod name should be tata it should be namespace and namespace is beneath the name under metadata section thus i have added namespace project hyphen tiger which mount the volume temp data iphone data this is what i have mentioned here just add these value modify these value here i just added this value and the name is data it's okay volume it's okay just remove these lines and image is this just modify the value and remove the unwanted like command you can remove here it is not required inside here now we have the yaml file one is for pv one is for pvc and the other one is pod for pvc we have these values i have already highlighted these values here what i have mentioned after that for the second pvc this is my pvc namespace is project name is tata pv 2 gig 2 gig read write once read write once that's it and for the pod the name of the pod is tata namespace is project hyphen tiger claim name is tata pv so i have mentioned here tata pv image i can use this one whatever the image it is mentioned in the exam you just mentioned here and mount path yes, that's it once we create these the objects after that we will observe that our pod is in running state let me show you for the second question i'm just copying all one by one and i will show you how you can do it 
let's create first a pv pv hyphen pod dot yaml file paste it over here control c cube ctl apply minus f pv hyphen pod it has created how we can verify cube ctl get pv data hyphen pv now the next is we are going to create a pvc pvc hyphen pod dot yaml file whatever the question you have let's suppose it's question number eight so you can use eight pvc like this one to segregate the other one cube ctl apply minus f pvc it is okay now here in exam you will have the project tiger namespace already there i believe that let me clear the window and create the namespace q will create namespace project hyphen tiger it has created let me create this pvc again it is also created now you can check tube ctl get pv data pv and here you will see pvc but here we need to add namespace right project tiger now it is in bound status all the steps we have performed is a good one now it's time to create the pod here pods pvc.yaml whatever the file you want to give the name and paste it from the yaml file create the window cube ctl create minus f apply or create you can use any command it is also created let's check the pod cube ctl minus n project tiger get pods and we have the pod name tata but let's see now it is showing running state if you want to verify inside this you can also go inside this pod but i believe that if you are in running state i don't think so that in exam you need to go inside but yes if you wish you can go also cube ctl execute minus it pod name tata minus n project tiger hyphen hyphen in dash f space minus h this is the temp directory you can also verify from the ppt it is mount path is temp data 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 control d exit now your question is completed if you are new in my channel then i will let you know that if you log in into github page and go to anishana cka click on that and you will observe all the ppt inside here i will create a new page for storage i will upload the ppt over there if you want you can download this ppt for your reference all the content is already validated during the lab if you like my videos my way of teaching please like and subscribe to my channel it will increase me so that i can create new videos for you